वेलकम टू कंट्रोल इंजीनियरिंग प्ले लिस्ट आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू यूनिट स्टेप रिस्पॉन्स फॉर डिफरेंटली डैम्ड सेकेंड ऑर्डर सिस्टम सो हियर विथ सेकेंड ऑर्डर सिस्टम वी विल बी हैविंग डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज ऑफ डैम्पिंग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दैट वी विल बी ऑब्जर्विंग आउटपुट ऑफ द सिस्टम विथ इनपुट यूनिट स्टेप सिग्नल सो हियर i'll be having second order system in that my input that is r of s my output is c of s and standard second order system that is there with us which is omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square and in that input is there with us r of s that is 1 by s and we are dealing with to identify output c of s with respect to different values of zeta so first i'll consider a case of undamped system so for undamped system value of zeta that is equals to 0 so for undamped system if you observe your output response which i have already derived c of t so that is 1 minus cos of omega and t into u of t and as if you want to see how output response is happening graphically then i'm going to plot it over here you see that so here we have time and here we have amplitude and in this you see my input is unit step input so here magnitude is 1 and my input is unit step input and here let us say magnitude is 2 now i just need to see how my output response that will happen so output response that is 1 minus cos omega nt so you see this is how output will happen 1 minus cos omega nt right and in that see here magnitude is 2 and here magnitude is 0 so that is how output response that is happening and that output is 1 minus cos of omega n t so for greater than t is equals to 0 we are deal with to see our output that's why u of t that we have multiplied but here you see our response is happening for time t greater than 0 response means output now second case that we are deal with to consider and that second case is there for under dam system so for under dam system value of zeta that is there in between 0 to 1 then we can say system is under damped system now for under dam system we have derived output is 1 minus e to the power minus zeta omega and t divided by square root of 1 minus zeta square into sin of omega dt plus theta into u of t and in this omega d that is omega n into square root of 1 minus zeta square and this theta is tan inverse square root of 1 minus zeta square divided by zeta so that is how output is happening for under damped system now let me show you how the response will behave like graphically so here on y axis we have amplitude and on x axis we have time my input is unit step input and with that amplitude is 1 for t greater than 0 now i'll plot my output 
So for under damp system, you'll be finding my output response that will happen like this. And all the parameters of this under damp system that I have already derived, you can go through my playlist of control engineering where different parameters that we have seen for under damp system. So that is how output response that will appear for under damp system. Now, third case that we are a little bit to consider and that is for critically damped system. For critically damped system, value of zeta that is equals to 1 and if you see the output response of critically damped system, then that output response C of t that is 1 minus e to the power minus omega and t into 1 plus omega and t into u of t. And if you want to see how this response will appear graphically, then here I will be considering amplitude on y axis and time on x axis. Let me give unit step input so that is having magnitude 1 starting from t greater than 0 and if you observe output over here then output will appear like this you see it will increase exponentially as you can see it over here so this is what our output for critically damped system and now I'll explain you fourth case that is for over damped system. So for over damped system zeta is greater than 1 and when zeta is greater than 1 for over damped system C of t output response that will be 1 minus omega n divided by 2 square root of zeta square minus 1 into e to the power minus p1t divided by p1 minus e to the power minus p2t divided by p2 and in this we need to multiply u of t means the response is there for time t greater than 0 and in this p1 and p2 that is defined as p1 is equals to zeta omega n minus omega n into square root of zeta square minus 1 and p2 is zeta omega n plus omega n into square root of zeta square minus 1. Now let us try to understand how this response will appear graphically. So on y axis we have amplitude and on x axis we have time and now already we know we have this response for input which is unit step and if you observe our output for time t greater than 0 then you see it will happen like this. Now you see if I say my value of zeta that is 3 then relatively I will try to explain it. So now next response that I am considering for lower value of zeta. So you see zeta is equals to 2 for that response is happening like this and if zeta is equals to 1.5 then response is happening like this. So that is how response will react as if you change value of zeta for over damped system. So this is how second order system responses will happen for different damping constant zeta. So here four cases that we have discussed for under damped system, undamped system it is like this with zeta is equals to 0 in between 0 to 1 for under damped system that response will be this for critically damped system means zeta is equals to 1 that response will be this 
and for over dam system for zeta greater than zero response will act like this i hope that you have understood this video thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions the reason is your suggestions matters to me and based on that in future i'll be making videos which will be solving your queries so please do give your valuable suggestions thank you so much for watching this video